From the producers of Teatro Sanzani comes a brand new show, Cabaret Zazu, Luminaire, uh, coming to us starting September 7th at the Cambria Hotel. And of course, the, it stars Frank Ferrante. We love him here in Chicagoland. You know him for, as the Caesar in Teatro Sanzani and also uh, from his one-man show, Groucho. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Rudy, thank you for that. I'm so thrilled to be back. I can't tell you. Great to see your smiling mug. You're looking good, Rudy. Oh, you're looking fantastic as well, too. You. you know, we, we loved you in Teatro Zanzani and, you know, the, the show uh, wrapped up and we're so happy that you're coming back to Chicago and with this brand new show. Tell us all about it. Oh, I'm I'm thrilled. Uh, yes, it's now called the the, uh, the same venue, same gorgeous venue uh, on the 14th floor of the Cambria Hotel right next to the Nederlander. It's called Cabaret Zazu. The theme, the subtitle is called Luminaire, which is a tribute to light and the light from within that we uh, we all have. And uh, it's a variety show with acts from all over the world, Rudy. We've got, get this, an act from Ukraine, Victor Key, who's considered the world's greatest juggler. Awesome. His wife, uh, Olsi, is a contortionist. Liv Warfield is back, uh, the great singer from, you know, who emanates from Peoria. Uh, there was a great, great acrobatic act, trapeze act called um, uh, Trio uh, Vertex. And who else? Um, James Harkness, a Broadway star, singer, a dancer. And uh, yours truly is playing a, the comic lead. And in this case, it's not the Caesar, which was this crazy character I played, as you know, for 20 years in this in the circus form. But uh, it's Fortissimo, which is closely related to to the Caesar. But this, you know, the show it's it's got the variety. It's got the beautiful tented venue and the three floors. It's got uh, uh, all new food, new menu. Uh, six of the eight performers have never worked on in under this tent, and uh, the band is unbelievable. It's locals. A real the band Rudy is insane. I'm it's I'm doing all new material. So I'm in the lobby and I'm hearing the band play and you got and I'm thinking you got to be kidding me. You feel like you're in a supper club and they play everything from standards to contemporary music, but really focused on 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 jazz and swing, but very much you feel the spirit of Chicago. All of my all of my shtick, all of my comedy which is very audience interactive i do a lot of crowd work as you know i yeah. bring people on stage and that's that's what's so fun for me i think that's what sets this show apart from other shows is the amount of interaction but jose martinez my our drummer he he scores everything i do every move i make it's just beautiful so we've got this great variety show with an elegant meal meal and a and probably i think it's one of the best you know it well rudy one of the best venues in the country and certainly in chicago i would say I mean, let's just talk a little bit about the experience, because whether it's date night, whether you're visiting Chicago, whether you're just looking for something fun to do. I mean, the experience of like seeing the lobby, getting seated. I mean, let's just talk a little bit about that whole experience. Well, it's so it's it's a great point because it is breathtaking. It's a breathtaking experience. And we've all gone through so much in the last several years. And now and what Cabaret Zazu is and this form of entertainment is a great escape. I mean, you can feel like a kid again. You can feel free. And that's how I feel when I work there. I feel completely free. But you would never know, Rudy, that the venue is there. at the, it, It's in the Cambria Hotel, right next to the Nederlander, right in the theater district. The Goodman's around the corner. The Chicago Theater's around the other corner. And you would never know that once you went to that lobby of the Cambria Hotel, got off at the 14th floor, walked out, took that left, that you're going to enter complete imagination it's romantic it's sexy it's absurd there's a full as you saw you know it's chandeliers a full beautiful bar it's so brick you know beautiful brick vintage brick it, it's gorgeous velvety fabric and then you go through that fabric and then from the lobby first of all the lobby is breathtaking so it's elevator this looks like another hotel get out of the elevator and then you're then you're transported and then once you get into the tent to me, the tent is the star, really is, because I'd never been in a in a space like this. This is an 80-year-old, 80, 80 maybe 90-year-old tent from Belgium that was shipped in to Chicago. Much of it was, was, um, was brought in through the ceiling, through the roof of the Cambria Hotel, 3,000 pieces that were joined uh, tongue and groove, not hammer and nail, but all of it from Belgium put together beautiful hand-carved wood and stained glass 
and you feel like you're in another another era, another time. You feel like you're in another um, era. You feel like you're in Europe. You feel, you know, you yes. feel like you named all the downtown places. You don't feel like you're downtown Chicago. You feel like you've stepped into a, like a movie or like a, a play. Totally. I mean, that's, and it's exhilarating. So that's what, so people are so, you know, it, again, at this time, people are so happy, including myself, to just be in this kind of environment where you're allowed just to breathe and enjoy and have fun and be silly and have a date, or it could be, and you go with a family, go with a date. And it seems to cut through all types, all backgrounds, all ages, which is really, you know, I can play to a, I can play to a, a hip 20 something couple or an eight year old kid or a 90 year old woman. And the response is the same, which says a lot about, about the experience. And it, that makes me joyous. And I get to work with all these incredible performers from all over the world. Let's talk a little bit about the Chicago audiences because mm -hmm. uh, Teatro Zadani here was, was here for a while. You're bringing this new show. Plenty of friends that I've seen on, on social media that didn't go see the show once but went multiple times. Brought, I could see when they brought friends in from out of town. Like this was a staple here for Chicagoans and, you know, kind of the hopes for, the, for this new show as well too. And talk a little bit about Chicago audiences just giving you and, you know, the productions uh, so much love. It's, well, it's it's very true, Rudy. People come, will come from distances and will come frequently because every show is different because I'm an improv comic, an interactive comic, a, a crowd working comic. What, everything I do is different every night. And even the other acts, there's always going to be something different. The, people always ask me, you ever get bored doing this? I say, are you kidding? I have one of the best jobs around because it is different every night. And that's exciting and you know, a little nerve wracking at times because I have to stay on top of it. But the audience is, they know they're getting something special every night. That audience of 300 people a night get their experience. And the next night is going to be completely different. Hopefully still joyous and you know, awe-inspiring, but different. And um, but the audience have been great. I always I've worked, you know, I've been working in the theater for my for over 35 years, and I got my start in the Midwest. I'm from the West Coast. Recently, I was referred to though in the press as Chicago actor Frank Ferrante, which to me was the high praise, which is was such a compliment because I feel part of this community and I've been embraced by audiences and the Chicago audiences. They're kind. They give you the benefit of the doubt. And they tell you the truth. If they like you, they let you know, which is really refreshing. It's it's um, far from an elitist attitude. It's a very generous, welcoming spirit. And and, and our, we have friends uh, that have helped us in the media, elevate us to try to make it known to, like you, who try to help share this hard work and this unique entertainment with, with audiences. And but to get to your point, yes, people come back time after time. And you've seen it how many times? You've been, you know, you've been. Three a times. I saw three advocate. times. Yeah. I, and I got a different experience every time that I that I went. You're right. So, so great. So great. I think I took someone from your table out there on the, didn't I take one of your friends on stage? I think well, I it, did. It wasn't, it wasn't one of our friends. That was something I was going to mention. So, you know, I live in Chicago, you know, 15 minutes away, you know, got to enjoy it. But the people who sat next to us, they, um, lived several hours away this was like their destination like we came we're coming to chicago we want to come see the show the woman was like super bubbly and the guy was very reserved and you brought him out and this i just remember like just like was really shy and once you started dancing like he brought it out he got the crowd just like all like worked up and it's like i don't think he would have brought it out and like had not gone to see the show it was just cool to see him kind of like break out of his shell well isn't that i think that's part of the the yeah. point of this type of entertainment is that people can let go, let their hair down, let loose, not feel judged. Yeah. And it's, you know, all are welcome. It, uh, all are welcome. And then there was tent. also another part where there was a, um, like a 90 year old woman who was celebrating a birthday and she had a walker and you took her out today mm -hmm. and she put that, you know, she put that walker to the side and put her hands, you know, on your shoulders. And it was just, I know those two people had different, you know, wonderful experiences yes. and, you know, big age gap, but everybody leaves with a smile and everybody leaves happy. And that was just, I think, what you guys accomplished yes. with the previous show. And we can't wait for you guys to do this with this show as well, too. Thank you for that, Rudy. Thanks for reminding me of that story of that woman. Some people might say, well, why would you do that? But for me, it's like, yes. And the fact that, she, I mean, it's risky that takes an older person up who's on a walker, but she did and she loved it. And her family told me afterward. And um, I think that's part of the beauty of, of being a live performer is that you, I get to meet so many people in the audience, in the media, in the community, that's fun for me. It's it makes it's far from a from a from a boring lackluster existence. So thanks for that reminder. I appreciate uh -huh. it.
Of course. Well, we can't wait for the show to open September 7th here at the Cambria Hotel. Frank, thanks so much for your time today. Broadwayandchicago.com. Go get those tickets. Go see it multiple times. It's an open run. So to make sure you get it, you know, as soon as it opens and then maybe something around the holidays, you know, as well too. take some family and friends over there. I appreciate it. Thank you, Rudy, so much. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Till then. Till then. <laughs>